Hello, you beautiful people of the internet. We are back with the version 4.5 live stream, and it is happening right now. I am so excited for this. Loki, I thought 4.4 was actually a phenomenal update, so I'm excited to see. Hello, travelers. Welcome to the 4.5 special Ether. program. My name is Zach Aguilar. And Here we go. I voice the male traveler. Look at Today, them. They look so beautiful. An old friend, right? Meowdy, everyone. My name is Julia Gu. I'm the voice of Clara. Meowdy. And I'm Brittany Lotta, the voice actor for Chiori. I'm really excited to be on this special program with you guys for the first time. Oh, hey everyone, dude, Chiori's design is, is awesome. Rodriguez, and I'm the voice of Sucrose. Also very excited to be here. Let's, Let's give, give everyone, everyone a chibi applause. applause. <laughs> so cute. But seriously, Sucrose this is an incredible crew, you guys. Now I'm even more Why are you here? to know about the contents of version 4.5. Why don't we find out by taking a look at the version 4.5? Please, Dean's Leaf Quest. Yeah. yeah! I know it's a Let's little bit go. copium. Ding. Wow. I can't believe I'm putting the key to shaking up my okay. dad's entire wine industry in my own two hands! Okay, Diona! Just see it now. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, the more sober they'll become. I wonder if it could also be used to turn water into wine. I love Diona so much. Enhancing potion could make it so that Pinewood could take down an abyss mage all on her own. Okay, this is quite jovial. The pain from walking on all that rough terrain, it's like it was never there. With this in my arsenal, I bet I could do over 200 orders in a single day. Excuse me. <laughs> this is so cute. Jerry, you're I love the animation. Need a bit of letting out around the middle. No, just ran <laughs> into a bit of trouble. This reminds me of Farina's demo. It's up to me to decide who I want to be. Oh. To my own Here she is! No one can tell me what to do. Wait, two swords? Oh my gosh, that's so sick. She will be mine! Oh, there, it's like scissors. Wait, that design is so phenomenal. Hello? I'd like to return my outfit. What kind of rag are you trying to sell us, huh? Who's that? You didn't get bought out by my competitors, did you? Blades weaving betwixt brocade. Dude, her design looks awesome. Can you guys see the code? Oh, there it is. Um, her design with her weapon being scissors. That was sick. That was pretty short for a trailer. I wonder if we're gonna get another one. Do they do two sometimes? Or am I coping, chat? The weapon, her weapon looks awesome. I don't think we have a single character who do wields, do we? Besides like, I'm trying to think. The, uh, at the end for big things sometimes. Yeah, d don't count the update out ch you just yet, chat. I mean, that looks fun. I love the Diona trying to corrupt Fontaine's alcohol industry. <laughs> I love that we're shedding a light on her quest once again to, <laughs> to rid the world of alcoholism. This is cute, Welcome man. Back, travelers. I'm sure that everyone's keen to hear more about the new version. <laughs> What's in the Let's box? Get on with it then. What's in the box? Our first bit of information relates to our newest character, Chiori. Woo! <laughs> huh? It's just a piece of fabric? Huh. Why was it in the box? Whoa, it's actually really beautiful. A professional designer like Chiori is very strict about her materials. She probably uses unique fabrics pretty frequently. Oh, oh. that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I thought that Chiori left a really strong impression at the Fontanalia Film Festival. Yeah, definitely. You could get a really good read on her based on how she dresses and the way that she talks. Ooh, I agree. She seemed firm and decisive. Chiori's... Like the kind of person who always says exactly what she means. Chiori's mm. personality was pretty cool, in my opinion. I liked her. <laughs> yeah, it must have taken a lot of effort for an Inazuman to become so successful in the Fontaine fashion industry. Yes. Mm. I bet her success was based on a lot of skill and talent. Mm. Traveler skin? You know, Pause you seem pretty familiar with Chiori already, but you might not be aware about her combat abilities. So let's take a moment to appreciate her fighting style. Let's Let see it. Fighting. <laughs> <laughs> fighting. It's up to me to decide who I want to be. Oh, she's making a little person. No one can tell me what to do. 
her weapons. That is so sick. Let's go, Tomato. Dude, it's like she's cutting wrapping paper. I am the cutting Except it's her person. enemies. It's not fabric, it's her enemy's flesh. Snip, snip, snip. Oh my god, she's so cool. <laughs> Dude, her banner <laughs> art looks so sick. Cute. You could say that she's a cut above the rest, Aww. if you will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I love her animations. They're so sick. Get sleek. it, chat, because yeah. cut yeah, above super the... stylish. It's Major funny, because... Mm -hmm. I love her swords. They're super, super cool. I want to Cut above the collection. rest, because it's something that... Did you that... see that <clears> during okay, sorry. her burst, she actually crosses them over to look like scissors? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that. Good catch. Yeah. I, I, be, I think <laughs> the there's going to be in our trailer, chat. I consider chat. Jiori to be in... Because Windbloom wasn't designer. in the trailer. She has a unique way of designing her clothes. Aside from using her own blades to cut fabric, she also uses an automaton named Tamoto. Her longtime personal assistant is always ready to help produce and model her designs. Tamoto is indispensable to how Chiori expresses Dude, her unique she, creative. Dude, her tax looks so, so sick. Like oh my lordy. Aura that proclaims to everyone, this is fashion. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a cool idol. Yeah, totally. Jiori's found an ingenious way to incorporate her design-making assistance into combat, too. During her elemental skill, Jiori summons Tamoto to attack her opponents. She also performs an upward strike and deals damage to her enemies based on her attack and defense stats. You surely we're going to get Albedo made that automaton herself? in a banner, right, guys? <sighs> so intricate. Maybe guys? she could expand into a new industry if she wanted. <laughs> For sure. When her elemental skill is held, Chiori can adjust the direction of her dash to attack enemies from multiple angles. And okay, like as I'll an hide experienced them? businesswoman, Chiori knows Ooh, how to Ooh, Geo Impact. Hold up. Chiori will summon an additional automaton when Tomoto is active. Wait, is it like a Geo Raiden Slash? Huh. What? By unlocking one of her specific talents, Chiori can trigger special effects when using her skill or normal attack during the upward strike on her elemental skill. Ooh, interesting. Do you guys so remember it Albedo? Like you can even switch your active character Albedo. by using Who? her skill. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. Sorry. Her little assistant seems to save her a lot of trouble. Oh, absolutely. Chiori doesn't like to waste her It'd time be cool on if this... um, trivial matters. If someone tests her patience, then she'll end the battle with a strike as sharp and fierce as her personality. <laughs> Would anyone else like a character who enables a, a mono geo team? Really to watch in I feel like sure. that'd be really cool. Chiori doesn't think that fashion in my opinion. stops at appearances. It also needs to serve a functional purpose. Hmm. When Chiori is in your active party and any of your characters are wearing a unique outfit or a non-default wing glider, the whole team will have their movement speed increased. Hmm. What? That's what makes her a true designer. Our travels will definitely be smoother when she's in the party and more fashionable. Based on how good your drip is, oh, you'll walk faster. Not. Oh, Jory tends to run I'm into screwed. trouble. Oh. It might be because of her blunt personality, but not the fashion problems buff. off Dang. the rides, No matter how much she tries to avoid them. I'm sure Drip or drown. person like Chiori has her own methods of She judging us IRL. She's quickly. judging our party's drip, <laughs> man. Possible? Chiori is an unconventional designer with a clear vision. She isn't afraid to go after what she wants. I have some and stuff to say, but I'll wait till uh, made her very successful. the Primo Gym code. Chiori will do anything to make sure the Chiori brand becomes renowned throughout all of Tibet. It's like so Gucci. she's always looking for ways to increase its exposure. Such Buy me as Prada. participating in Fontaine Fashion Week. Balenciaga. Ooh. I bet she probably I'm sorry. has to go all out on Fashion <clears throat> Week. Chiori's story quest, the Sisoria chapter, will become available in version 4.5. Let's go. Travelers will be able to accompany Chiori as she confronts unexpected challenges during Vontaine Fashion Week. How curious. What kind of challenges are they? Shh, we'll have to wait and see. Sucrose, why are you but here? I'm sure that Kirara <laughs> will be there. Sucrose hasn't Kiori been in anything yet. And all. Except oh, the trailer at the beginning. See what kind of interactions they'll have. I mean, I love you, Sucrose, I should but... mention that Chiori also... Why are you here? <laughs> Oh, so Kirara is one of Chiori's clients. Uh, uh, uh. Leave if her you alone. Want to learn more about Chiori? Then be sure to check out her story quest when it becomes available. Actually, travelers won't just be spending time with Chiori. Oh. This hangout event will also be available in version 4.5. After travelers complete her quest, they'll receive a special Wait, reward. That's Poggers. The Fatometer. Ooh. Awesome. Oh, the Fatometer. You can draw a random number from a hat when you interact with the Fatometer. 
So if travelers are ever stuck on a decision, they can use the fatometer as an interesting solution. Wait, that's fun. Yeah, if you're farming for artifacts or Low key. materials in co-op mode, you might run into a situation I'm... where multiple people want to use the same character. Mm. But you can decide a winner by drawing. We can draw lots in Genshin now. It seems pretty convenient, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Especially when I'm running co-op. Okay, who gets kicked? And indecisive as I am. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a lot of content to explore. Then you can even use the fatometer to decide where you should start. It could save you from going more. Back and forth. Okay. Yeah. How about a little bit of chance. I see which number it gives us. Oh, me first. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Have we decided what the numbers mean? Oh, uh, how about this then? Whoever draws the largest number gets to. Is that 15? Introduce the next piece of information. Ooh. Okay. Though I think I'll be sitting this more one gamba. Out. I already got to introduce Chiori. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, right. next segment. Oh. <laughs> That's rough. Yikes. Oh, my turn. It's just like her alchemy rolls. Ten per oh. ten percent. We're so close. <laughs> well, it seems like oh, it's a D twenty. Take it away, big man. Let's go. Uh. <clears throat> We'll have event wishes from oh. Chiori and Ito in the first half. Of I hope she enables mono geo teams, a chat. Five star sword. Raku Her sword is gorgeous. On the weapon event banner. Ito. A small spoiler for you. Lo the new five star sword comes with a defense bonus. <gasps> Lol. So it's not just a good weapon for Chiori. It might also work for Albedo. <laughs> That's something that travelers will have to try out for themselves. Albedo. Nervalet and Kazwa will also who's... be run in the second half of version 4.5. Be sure to check them out if either of them interests you. Oh, and good sword all. for Albedo. It looks like we Too bad you'll never get a banner for him again, wish. brother. The Only for the people who. Uh, what's that? Yeah. What is this? Let me explain. A new type of banner will be available starting from version 4.5. Huh? The Chronicled Wish. The Chronicled Wish banner will allow travelers to obtain a variety of characters such as Klee and Dilu. Nice. They'll also be able to obtain weapons such as Hunter's Path and Wolf's oh, Gravestone. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, that's cool. Very cool. Super cool. Wait, if so many characters and weapons oh my gosh. are going to be on the same banner, won't it be kind of hard to pull for exactly who you want or Do you what get to you want? Des nope. You can chart a specific course for the character or weapon that you want. Plus, it only takes a maximum of one fate point to guarantee your target. You're also guaranteed an item that matches your target type. For example, if you're targeting a specific five-star character... I've been waiting for days like this, baby! ...to be what? a character. Oh, the huh. same is true for weapon pulls. That's neat. I've been trying to get the Wolf's Grave Stone since day for one for Chun Yun. Out on certain characters and weapons that they wanted. Yeah. Oh my gosh, John yeah. Hoyoverse, I'm gonna There's drive myself to China and give you a big old smooch on the lips. Will only feature five star characters that have had at least three character event wishes and have not appeared on any recent banners. Mm. More details about the chronicled wish banners will be revealed in an official. Interesting. Be sure to keep an eye out if you're interested in them. That also, this. Version Changes the game. A training guide system to make it easier for new travelers to explore to vet. We'll provide more details later on in the program. Okay, we've just finished the event wish section of the program. Let's take a short break while we display the second redemption code. Awesome. Mm. Sounds like a plan. I like how they casually dropped. Oh, that art is so lovely. I like how they casually dropped like the biggest announcement. Hello? Um, that's insane. So characters who have, who've run three times on banners can be in that banner. And you can chart a course for those characters. Oh my gosh, chat. That is so huge. That is so good for the community, in my opinion. So if you miss a character, you just have more chances to get the character you want. Oh my gosh, and I can finally get Wolf's Gravestone. Um, besides that, besides that game-shattering, world-breaking Genshin news, holy macaroni, it's interesting, this update is giving me similar vibes to, like, the film festival. Um, Welcome back to the so far. 4.5 special program. Do you know Let's what I mean, chat? Let's move on to the next bit of content. Ooh. 
Let me see here. A bottle? Huh. Hmm. Mm. Judging it's from the, the bubbly. shape of the glass and the it's color the of the spicy liquid, water. I'm guessing that the bottle has something to do with alchemy. Oh. And judging from our surroundings, maybe Mondstadt is also involved? Bingo. Huh. Mm. Next, we're introducing an event that takes place in Mondstadt. It's an alchemy event. Yay. As what the is that? Mondstadt continues to develop. Is that the scepter? Are busy with planning for its future. The Knights of Favonius have always been conducting alchemy research, and they've been looking for a way to showcase their results. Lisa came up with the idea to open a potion shop. Not Lisa. Can learn more about alchemy, and the knights can better uh, understand their needs. I'm joking. I'm joking. Everybody wins. Yeah, that's time to super get exciting. <laughs> yeah, made definitely. Uncomfortable. Especially since travelers will get to run the potion shop during this event. Hey, honey, oh. want to make a potion like? with me, In sweetie? The chemical ascension event. You want to mix our liquid, herbs, sweetie? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know she's gonna say it though. Revenue and expand their business. So it's a management sim. Oh, oh this is like that. what we got in. Yeah, uh, exactly. Travelers who build up. I was just quoting what Lisa's gonna say. Don't. We'll be able to earn various <laughs> rewards. These include prima gems and a four-star polearm. Dialogues of desert sages. Nice. I like the polearm. <laughs> Travelers can also look forward to meeting You can kill them with medicine the pole. Travelers can scale their business even faster if they fulfill these special customers' requirements. Beat on you, love. Oh, hmm. oh they're part of the. Uh, neat. <laughs> I'm hyped. Yeah, me too. <laughs> is Beto's to potion just event. rum? Is so that all it is? <laughs> the cat continues. What's with all this cat propaganda? I feel like What's with all this we Carrara? don't even need to introduce this one. Everyone can understand that our upcoming content is about cats. <sighs> Like I've returned home. That's what I just said. That's what I just said. In the character. Hey, wait, wait a second. Everyone Super meow. Also has animal meow. ears. I'm right? sorry. Hmm. Meow. She doesn't have a tail though. Oh. Meow. So I'm sorry. Is I'm sorry. Cat? No comment. Wait, really? She's not. Em, <laughs> we've completely gone off topic. Is this Let's TCG? To introducing the most important event, the Feline Fortress Ferdisi. <laughs> the Traveler and Paimon have encountered all sorts of strange creatures during their journey through Tavat, but this time they've decided to take some time to visit the familiar cat's tail. Wait, are we gonna get to pet since they've cats? For so long, there's Please, no God. To relieve your fatigue than John Hoyoverse. With some cuddly cats. This is gonna be the greatest Mad update in Genshin if we you can pet them. <laughs> if we can put our little besides, pixely hand in their fur and sh shuffle it around a little bit. A kind-hearted person recently prepared a new space for the cats to play to their hearts. Well, you get to decorate it. Travelers simply need to set up fluffy feline homes oh my, for the cats. Wait, hold satisfy up. Satisfy specific target requirements and provide the cats with their favorite food. <laughs> Only then will travelers be able to play with their furry friends at the throne of Meow. Is he about? Yeah. <laughs> Playing with cats can be a little tricky. We can pet cats. You do something that makes them uncomfortable. Just do your best. <laughs> Once travelers have become good friends. Best with update, all Genshin Impact. Cats, best update, Genshin be Impact history. I don't yep. care. And I don't care what anyone says. Already a very good friend to the cats. Best hey, update. Thank you. You, you can end the live stream now. Me of. It's Jover. <laughs> In Tibet, they're pretty closely associated, right? I can definitely see travelers returning to the cat's Dude, tail. Dude, the art in the TCG is so TCG underrated. With all those cats. Play with the cats. Play some cards. Play with the cats. Play some cards. Nouvellet cards. Dude, the art in the I TCG like cards is so beautiful. <laughs> Ugh, with the animations, too. Version 4.5 is adding even more new cards, events, and challenges. Please make cat petting TCG permanent for based. All travelers. Aside from playing with cats and engaging in card games. The developers also prepared some challenges that will give travelers Why can't it be the permanent? To show up their In version 4.5, travelers will meet two guards. I see what you did there. Octane. I physically One aged while a reading that. Inventor who rejected an invitation from the Fontaine Research Institute three times. Whoa. Wow. Sure seems like there are a lot of geniuses in Fontaine. I wonder if that place has so many cool inventions. This genius inventor will lend the traveler a remote cannon that he invented to take down a fearsome hilly churl rogue. Uh, I meant that the cannon will be used to take down slimes. Wait, this <laughs> looks fun. <laughs> it's like a uh, it bagel. Reminds me of the marbles that we would play with when we were younger. Oh yeah, yeah, mm, totally. So in this event, 
Travelers will remotely operate a turret to fire. Gitchen needs to release a Mario Party mode. They've made too many to great as many slimes as you can by triggering elemental mini reactions. games. The more points you earn, the more rewards that you can obtain. I mean, how many have they made so far that are like genuinely like fun? Probably like at least 50. More points. Sweet. Okay, our next event involves a mysterious concoction called the Phase Potion. Oh, this dude sucks. He keeps Johnny missing. Thought, right? Hey, he's doing his I best. Okay, he's nervous. From the We're all watching him. Didn't the traveler participate in a bunch of experiments to help him with his thesis? Yep. Oh, he's made some improvements since then, and he's waiting for someone to test them out. <laughs> in previous challenges, you had to wait for the potion to take effect. This time, I remember this. Travelers will automatically enter time dilation mode when you enter the challenge arena. Oh. You can even take pictures when this mode is active. Oh, Eat. pose, mm -hmm. Jojo, pose. Time will resume when you move or use any time. Skill. You'll enter time dilation. Time will now resume. Or Wait, this is Jojo. Mm -hmm. Yep. Time will stop as long as you the don't world, after though. unleashing a skill. It's pretty sweet, right? <laughs> I'm sure that travelers will be able to take tons of cool pictures of their characters. Yeah, absolutely. Travelers will also need to focus on a community. Jojo fans or something else. Combat. Once you have enough of it, you'll be given an advantage that will help you complete the challenge. Awesome. Ooh. Ooh. Also, what do you mean by that? An overflow event will be returning in version 4.5, so nice. don't miss out, you guys. Mm. Well, we've finished introducing all the events in version 4.5. Uh, next up we have. Uh, well, wait a second. We've oh. just announced a lot of information, don't you think? That's true. Let's take a short break and look at the last redemption. But wait, there's more? Continue. Yeah. That's but wait, idea. there's more? Then we'll see everyone on the flip side. See ya. Yeah. Bye bye. You better. You know what's about to happen? Two things are about to happen. I'm calling it right now. It's about to go into a cutscene of something crazy, or it, it, they're about to be like. The OST for Fontaine just released, and here's a snippet, and then end it. There's only two ways this can go. You know I'm right, chat. It's either going to be, look, the OST for Fontaine is released. You can do it on Spotify, or it's a cutscene or something crazy. Dude, I'm nervous, man. So far, the greatest update in Gitchin history. And you're looking at the reason why, chat. At all five reasons why. Because you can pet cats. I don't want anyone tell me. I want to hear it. I'm I'm shutting the dialogue down now, okay? We get to pet animals. Be happy. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome back. My butt cheeks are clinched. I'm ready. New events in version 4.5. The developers also plan to fuse system optimization. Okay. Let's take a look. Yeah. After version 4.5, travelers will be able to view a character's talent upgrade materials on the character talent interface menu. Hopefully, this helps everyone understand what materials they need in order to improve a character's skills. Okay. Remember Poggies? the new training guide that we mentioned earlier? That's also a new feature that's coming to version 4.5. This, in my opinion, is actually... Rank 12 or higher people were memeing on this. Quest, Welcome to the adventure. But I actually skill. think this is really we'll cool. To refer to this guide by accessing the like, module. especially for younger players, video. chat, this guide who don't use YouTube, goals and suggestions just to instantly levels, look in game and weapons, be like, artifacts and talents of your characters. this is the best weapon to, for it my also character. Takes your maximum world level into account. Hopefully, this guide will be helpful to travelers who've just started their journey into that. This yep. also means this they're trying to prep them for more intense for combat. Relatively new to Tavat. There's so much to Pause discover in Genshin Impact. I'm sure that travelers will eventually figure out the best system for them. <laughs> for sure. Exploring all those possibilities is part of the They're fun. trying to raise everyone's <laughs> skill level so, so we far, can... We've just been covering the in-game content. But we also have Come some in? external news to share. During version 2.5... Genshin Impact will be teaming up with the Discovery I love Kevin Channel so much. to launch benefit events that raise awareness about environmental the, conservation. Wait, with the Discovery Genshin Channel? Genshin characters will serve as ambassadors for specific natural landscapes, and they'll be wait, embarking Kave on a journey with all the good. characters out there. Wow. Oh, that's so special. That is such a cool collaboration. I love it. <laughs> with the Discovery During Channel. Version 4.5, travelers can also look forward to the release of the Chen Yu Vale OST album. Let the show I'm grateful. The album will be but flashback to Jonathan of which five minutes ago. Tracks by the Hoyo mix team. It will contain music from I'm grateful. 4. 4. Mm -hmm. 
It even includes the music featured in the Lantern Rite Festival and Shen Yun's story quest. Ooh. Yes. wait. <laughs> all right. Seems like we've delivered all of the information. Wait, does that mean that we've come to the end of the special program? Oof. Oh, already? <sighs> yeah. so fast. Exactly. It really did. Okay, but is anyone else super excited for the cat cafe? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Obviously. Yes, absolutely. Like, immediately. Cats. 100%. 110%. Chat, I'll wear a meat outfit really on the cat cafe stream. I meet Chiori. Woo! I mean, yes! like, they met her, yes, but absolutely. I want them to, like, meet her. Like, get to know her. Yes. It'll be fun Either to do cool Chiori's quest. Sword. Scissors. I'm not going to. So that was a, cool. Don't clip that. Yes. Don't clip that, please. I mean, I'm a little biased. I was lying. You know. I mean, and I think that's fair. Fair. Yes, <laughs> very fair. Thank you. Thank you. I will probably end up spending a lot of time on the Rolling Crossfire event, too. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I will Honestly, destroy those slimes. Destroy the I'm slimes. as excited for the Lynette hangout <laughs> as I am the rest of this, to be honest. I, I freaking love Lynette so much. <laughs> oh, so Anyone else? Hi, so Anyone else? <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. Is it Jover? And that is it for the 4.5 live stream chat. Greatest update of Genshin history. You heard it here. You heard it here first. Um, all in all, I enjoyed a lot of elements from that. The the some of the quality of life improvements I liked a lot. The banner is the hugest reveal. Game changer. Very, very good for, especially for free to play players, chat, to be able to get characters they want in like with a guarantee. Um, but besides that, I was, I was hoping for a little more, especially I understand that Genshin can't constantly like release new regions every update. Last update was absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. I, I was really hoping for a Dane's quest or maybe something with a little bit of a story substance. But that's okay. It happens. All in all, uh, yeah, I'll pass the question over to you. What did you think of this live stream? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one.